Today we're looking at the Paris sticker application rates for hollows, glitters and golds at the start of September, so rather recent data. Now why should we have a look at these and consider them when investing into stickers or capsules? Application rate is undoubtedly one of the most important metrics when it comes to sticker investments, as those show a decent portion of the demand. As we all know, these applications lower the supply of stickers that are used. By comparing the rates between the stickers, we get a good idea which ones are more sought after than others, providing us with valuable information to base our investments on. Of course, we can't look at the application rate as a complete picture for the demand, as we are lacking price information that is not being factored in here, so pay attention to that as well. Let's get right into it. First, let's have a look at hollows. Unsurprisingly, we can see that in total, hollows from the Legends capsule were applied most. Leading the charge is the Fnatic Hollow, being one of the most successful orgs when it comes to CS. Being at a relatively high price, this application rate is very interesting. Behind that, we already have a somewhat meaningful drop-off, with Navi and Nine being at around 10k applications. Noteworthy is the rather low application rate for the actual major winner, Vitality, being dead last year. For challengers, the first thing that comes to mind when looking at the data are the overall very low application rates compared to other teams. In the overall comparison graph, we can see them being on the absolute lower end, even with the capsules always having been best or second best ROI, never dropping under 93% ROI for the entire sales period. And this makes me wonder if the application rate is low because there is low demand for these stickers and they aren't light as much, or if the hollows from this collection have already been too expensive starting the sale, decreasing application rates. That would mean there is actual demand, but prices could be too inflated at this point in time to craft with these hollows. Leading the challengers is Pain Gaming, with Monty being last with only about 2.2k applications. Taking a look at G2 from the challengers capsule, I'm not sure why they are performing so poorly in this metric, especially compared to FaZe. I'm assuming it's overall potentially low demand for the challengers capsule itself, and a little too high price to craft with for the most of the player base. Noteworthy to me was also the decent application rates for Apex and Furia, even with their very high prices for the entirety of the sale after the first few days. For the contenders hollows, we see FaZe performing very well in applications, as was expected. Following them, we see Fluxo with a good application rate as well, making me like it even more personally. Mouse is clearly last with application rate, as is expected with it being the most expensive Paris team hollow. Analyzing the scattered chart, we can visualize these outliers. Interesting to me are the ones with high application rates, low prices and preferably not from the Legends capsule that is usually the most supplied for the last few majors. That's just partly why I'm liking FaZe and Fluxo so much. Fnatic and Nine are also very good looking given their application rates. This outlier down here is of course the Blast Hollow which I don't think I need to explain why that might not be the greatest investment. As far as the developments of the applications go, there are only a few things standing out for me. First are the very high applications from the get-go of this dataset from the Fnatic Hollow. Second is the increased application rate for FaZe in the last few days, providing a sharper than average upward slope. We're also being fed with data regarding glitters and golds, which I want to discuss as well. For glitters, we see a similar pattern that the challenges glitters show significantly lower application rates, with Apex and Forzy taking first and second respectively. The G2 glitter is only slightly behind in applications, which does make sense to me. For the legends, we have Fnatic, Furia and Navi leading with over 40k applications each. Furia are showing strength in glitters compared to the holo, which likely has to do with their holo price and the glitter being way more affordable. For the contenders, there's nothing really standing out to me from this data. Finally, looking at the gold stickers real quick, we can see that there are a few stickers that have a really good showing, namely Apex, Pain, Furia and FaZe. With FaZe leading and having the lowest price from all of these at the point of this recording, I can see it being a very good contender for one of the better performing golds this major. I want to give a quick shout out to CryptoFox and Dottie for providing us with this beautiful dashboard and regular refreshes of the data we just looked at. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.